Hardware stores struggle with meth makers buying up their supplies. Good evening, I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. Officials say meth is on the rise here in Vigo County, and it's not just pharmacies battling the dealers. Store owners say since a large federal drug ring roundup in December, they've seen a huge rise in drug dealers buying their products to make meth. News 10's Amanda Jarrett takes a look at how everyday household items are being used in a dangerous drug. When you head to the hardware store, you probably expect aisles of household items. But some aisles are like a candy store for drug dealers. Like this drain cleaner has a high amount of sulfuric acid, a prime ingredient in methamphetamine, making these shelves a hot spot for meth cookers. We've seen a 50 to 60 percent increase in the amount of this stuff we're selling, and a lot of it's going right directly to meth making. Chuck says it's hard to even keep these shelves stocked. It is very tough for us. Uh, you know, we have them coming in in carloads and three or four different guys buying bottles of it. Not just bottles of drain cleaner, but also camp fuel, starting fluid, and several other items. While sales may be up, so is theft. We're seeing shoplifting of this product. Uh, you know, we watch this product very, very close. It's not something the hardware store is taking lightly. They posted this sign telling customers if you buy the cleaner, they will ask for your ID and send that information to authorities. The store says they want to offer these products, but they don't want their products to help produce meth in our community. And Chuck says it's a fight they're not giving up. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Amanda Jarrett, News 10.